available all the time he's ready to wipe away those tears that drops out of our eyes good morning everyone i love you guys so much my facebook is flooded already i just feel like dancing i don't know who is with me you know sometimes when you go through trials and tribulations i want to encourage you to dance it off sing praises and thanksgiving dance it off because through praises and thanksgiving, I'm telling you, heaven will open for God's favor to flood her. That's the spirit I have this morning. And if you can see the title of my message today, is Uncomfortable Forgiveness, Even in the Storm of Your Life. How many people have been offended right now? 
how many people are bitter right now about what somebody did, what you did to somebody, something, something, something. <laughs> and you tie yourself down with unforgiveness. You tie your spirit down with bitterness. You tie your spirit down with sadness. Is it worth it? It's not worth it at all. Anything that could affect your spiritual life at the same time it affects your physical and mental and everything, emotional life, is not worth it at all. Unforget un uncomfortable, uncomfortable. You know when you don't feel comfortable about something, it's not something you want to do. I hope I'm making sense. It's not the thing you want to do because it's going to take you out of your comfort zone. It's going to take you out of who you are and what you normally can do. But you do it anyway. Uncomfortable forgiveness. Some of us have been offended and we have offended somebody so bad that as humans, we don't want to let go. We don't want to forgive these individuals. We don't want to have nothing to do with them anymore. Because, you know, sometimes we think, how many times will I be stabbed? How many times will I be, you know, torn apart by people that you care about? I told you guys, this week is going to be encouragement of love and unity and all that. Through our disembowelment, let's talk about reuniting ourselves with God, reuniting our spirit to positivity so we can achieve a lot of positive things in life. Forgiveness is a very, very strong word. It's very hard. People can easily say, oh, I forgive you. But guess what? In the depth of their heart, they are still feeling bitter about what happened. But I want us to practice real and unique forgiveness of those who have offended us and those who have offended to ask for forgiveness. It's very uncomfortable. That's why I said uncomfortable forgiveness in the midst of the storm. When someone has beaten on you so hard, especially people you trusted and loved, and they, they can stab you without even having any human feeling. It's very uncomfortable for you to say you forgive them. I know that. I've been there. As a matter of fact, I am there right now. But what happens? Can you allow somebody else, like I said yesterday, don't allow the enemy to use your time against your destiny. That was the topic of yesterday. Today is uncomfortable forgiveness, even in the midst of the storm. You can see the chain all together. You must have to forgive these individuals for your own breakthrough. Am I speaking to someone? You have to forgive these people for you to receive your breakthrough. You must learn how to let go for God to come in and dwell. You must learn how to completely forgive and forget for the Lord Almighty to take absolutely control. You think it's easy for us to say, let God take control? Let God take control in the name of Jesus. Thank you guys for joining me. Uncomfortable forgiveness in the midst of the storm. We have been offended by a lot of people this Christmas time, this period of thanksgiving and praise, this period of love and uniqueness, you know. We must have been offended by somebody. Are you gonna let that hold your, your joy? Forgive so that your own sins will be forgiven. The Bible said none of us is perfect. Every individual in the land of the living have sinned and is still sin. You every day will commit sin against God in heaven. And still will go back and say, Father God, have mercy on us, forgive us. And he forgives immediately as you confess him as your Lord and Savior. He forgives your sins, no matter how numerous and how many are those sins, God will forgive you. So let's practice that as children of God. Let us learn to forgive. You're not doing it for the person who offended you. You're actually doing a breakthrough for your life. When you forgive those that have offended you, when it's very uncomfortable, you actually release a blessing upon your life. So I come to you guys this morning, just briefly, you know, this time is a busy time, but I will always come in once every day to briefly give us encouragement. What? Uncomfortable forgiveness. Let go of everything that everyone has done to you, even including me. Release me so that you will get your blessing. 
I'm releasing everyone that have offended me. I'm telling you, let them need to call me and say, Jesse, forgive me. No, no, no. I don't need all those drama. I have forgiven them from my heart and I ask God to give me that unique heart to forgive those that have offended me. That purity of heart where I know that I can never gossip about them. I can never bring the issue over and over again because when you do that, you're still bitter. When you forgive, you close the door and forgive. Let it go. The battle is of the Lord. When you forgive someone, you don't go back and someone calls you a bad person, you still back, eh, hey, she did this. Oh, he did that. Oh, she did this. You have not forgiven them. So when you forgive, you close the door completely. Just shake it off so that your blessing, you will not miss it this Christmas time. The devil is very busy using our loved ones to hit us so hard at this time. But we must take it by force, by forgiving them anyways, because we know it's the work of the devil. Shame on the devil because everything that happens we say is the work of the devil. So let's give it to the devil and say, yes, the enemy is using them against their own destiny. So let it be. This morning I encourage you, forgive everyone that have offended you, no matter the depth of the, the, the pain. Let it go for your blessings to locate you this Christmas. I don't want to miss my blessing because I can see everything turning around for good. I can see everything turning around for my life for testimony. I can see God taking me out of the storm to put me on top. I can see the glory of God upon every one of us. I can see the blessing of Almighty God this Christmas just for the spirit of forgiveness. Honesty, forgive everyone that have offended you. Let's look at what God says in the book of Matthew. You know, in Matthew, Jesus says that church members should forgive each other 70 times 70, a number that symbolizes bondness. Can you imagine God commanding you to forgive one another 70 times 70? Can you imagine that? That's how long you can take to forgive individuals. So I'm going to do mathematical part of it right now. Then you know that God himself sees us as sinners. And because of that, he forgives our sins, regardless of our iniquities. So I want you all to learn to forgive one another. I want us to learn to love one another, regardless of the circumstances. The Lord said we should forgive each other 70 times 70. That's 4,900 times. Can you imagine? How many individuals have actually offended you 4,900 times? 4,000, not 1,000, 4,900 times. That's how much the Lord said you can forgive anyone that have offended you in Matthew. So it means no matter the sin, no matter how they, they stab you, no matter how your friends forsake you, no matter how people turn their back against you, no matter how they gather, keep on forgiving them because you will receive your reward. Why? Because your own sin, God in heaven will always forgive you. You're not doing it for them. Forgive because you need something from God. That's what I do. I always have the spirit of forgiveness. And I always have the spirit to say, you know what? We all are human beings, whatever. It's expected. That is the way I live my life. I don't ever hold anybody on grudges. My personal assistant, Linda, she can tell you, even when she offends me, the next thing you will hear from my mouth is like, whatever, you're a human being. Who cares? Human beings can always forgive and they will always do it over and over again. That is humans. There's no need of holding somebody in bondage this Christmas time. And that is the way I live my life. I think that's the grace of God upon me that each time I go through trials and tribulations, sometimes it's all darkness and I'm asking, God, how am I going to come out of this? And before you know it, there is light at the end of the tunnel. That is the word of God for you. And that's what spirit of forgiveness can do for you. When you forgive from the depth of your heart, when you really, really practice forgiveness of sin, don't limit it to everyone that have offended you, to anyone that have offended you in any way or any form or any manner. Learn to say, you're a human being. I forgive you. Somebody is using you, which is the enemy, against your own destiny, not my destiny, because in my end, I will always let go because I know what I want from God and he will always be there to help you when you need it. Learn to forgive. It's very uncomfortable, but we must learn to forgive. Look what the psychologist said. General defined forgiveness 
as a conscience. That's what psychologists define forgiveness as. They define it as a conscience, deliberate decision to release feelings of resentment or vengeance towards a person or group who has harmed you, regardless of whether they actually desire your forgiveness. Forgiveness does not mean forgetting, nor does it mean condemning or excusing offenses. No, this is perfectly okay. This is what I love. Scientists, psychologists, all these people is proven. This is the way they see the word forgiveness. It's something that you do with your conscience. Your mind tells you deliberately by yourself, within you. You just let go. Release these people who have offended you. Release them. Don't go and do vengeance because it's of the Lord. You see, when I tell people that this life is governed with the word of God and God works with principles of life, everything that scientists and psychologists and all these medical terms are doing is in alignment with the word of God. Look at them saying that forgiveness is about your conscience. They don't have to be Christians to know that. It's about your conscience. Deliberate decision. Deliberately within me. I decided to release these people who has offended me. And I pray that those who I have offended deliberately can understand the word of God and the power in the spirit of forgiveness. Deliberately let them go because vengeance is of God. Even if it's in a group that have harmed you, regardless whether they desire or they deserve to be forgiven. Some people, you don't need to forgive them looking at what they did. You'll be like, mm -mm. what she did to me? No, 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 I can't forgive this girl. Oh my God, she stabbed me. Even when I take care of her, nah, I cannot forgive this girl. Or, oh, this man, oh, he has done the worst thing in life. I can't forgive him. No, that is not what forgiveness is. And that's not what uncomfortable forgiveness means. Uncomfortable forgiveness means when you know very well that if you're in the position of natural human being, you want this person to suffer for the consequences of what they did to you. But no, you deliberately, freely, you know, joyfully, happily, you know, relaxed. Just let them go. Forgive them. You know, tell them, you know what? You're a human being. Go ahead. Who cares? You're just a human, whatever. You forgive them without no excuses. They don't desire to be forgiven, but you forgive them anyways because you're asking God for something. Hmm? Trespass according to the word of God. You go to Matthew chapter 6 verse 12. You see what trespassing means. Trespass. Either will your father forgive your trespass. This verse paralyzes with Matthew chapter 6 verse 12. But why that one speaks of deaths? This one speaks of trespasses. It says that for a person to end God's forgiveness, they must also be willing to forgive others. Those who do not forgive will not be given forgiveness by God. Can you imagine that? This is powerful. Uncomfortable forgiveness is very powerful. It's not about Christianity right now. It's about principles of life. This has nothing to do with I'm a Christian, I'm a Muslim, I'm not Christian. No, no, no. This is rules and regulations of life. Forgiveness uncomfortable forgiveness is something that you do to end something am i making sense you got it you forgive because you want to be forgiven you give because you want god to remember you you love because you want the love of god you smile because you want god and heaven to smile at you despite of what you're going through despite where you are no matter who has offended you no matter the the level of the offense <laughs> We just want to practice the rules and regulations of life. Powerful, unfor uncomfortable forgiveness. Uncomfortable forgiveness. Can you imagine that? That is the word of today. Tie it out with the one of yesterday. Don't allow the enemy to use your time, your valuable time, against your destiny. That was the topic of yesterday. If you have not viewed that, you can go to YouTube, a sister through love group, and view most of my teachings and tie it or follow this series because it's very powerful. I'm telling you, people are calling and they are asking, how do you get this knowledge? It's not about me. It's about what God deposited. I'm not doing it to really entertain, but I take my daily life experience to teach someone else, to encourage my brothers, my fans and friends and well-wishers all over the globe. 
I don't know that I'm making changes until testimony started coming. Until people see me and they're like, oh girl, that topic touched my heart. Oh, I love what you were saying. That is what we ask God for. I have something to learn from you. That's why I say type in your inputs, encourage someone else. A lot of people are going through stuff every day. People among us right now watching have been offended by one reason or the other. Most of us have been torn apart from our close ones, but don't let it hold you down. Uncomfortable forgiveness is the key to the world so that you can break through this environment and your blessing will not pass you by because I can see everything turning around for good. Keep on loving those that have offended you. Keep on forgiving those that have offended you. Keep on praying for their lives. Keep on praying for God to maintain that peace within you so that you will constantly forgive them, so that you will always pray for them, so that you will always stay away from bringing back their, their iniquities. You know, let go the iniquities and begin to praise God in the midst of your trials. That is the word of God, the rules and regulations of life. It's so simple. Forgive so that you can be forgiven. Give so that you can be given. Smile so that heaven can smile at you. It is what it is. It could have been worse. Stay tuned and God bless you as you watch me. And as you share the video, God will always bless you. Your blessings will locate you this Christmas in Jesus' name. Thank you guys and hold on.
joining me like oh my god too bad go back and watch this series Sam you know Oliver Oliver thank you for joining me Chukwe Meka you know Lukman Lamido Godwin Chika Ch Chima Uchenna Onye Onyechi Emmanuel Okoye Frank you know so many of you I can just mention everyone I am so grateful bro Austin God bless you so much for joining me. I've been online for almost uh, 40 minutes right now. And I want to briefly end the series. I want you guys to follow me up on YouTube at Sisters True Love, but US. And uh, not only that, follow up with other series, you know, and uh, you will grab one or two things. We want to encourage one another this Christmas time. Like I said yesterday, don't allow the enemy to use your valuable time against your destiny. Stay away from backbiters and those that are just sitting down. Hello, bro. God bless you. Busy doing nothing but always, always, always pulling someone else down. And today's topic was uncomfortable forgiveness, even in the midst of stance. You know, it's not comfortable for you, but you forgive anyways because you know what you want from God. May the Lord Almighty help us and may his grace be sufficient to us. Happy, happy holidays to everyone, and I will constantly, 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 you know, come back every day, even if it's 20, 30 minutes to encourage us. Go home and relax, and uh, forgive those that have offended you. Even when they don't desire your forgiveness, go ahead and do it, so that your own day will be long, and your blessings will locate you. I love you guys so much, and Jesus loves you so much, I want you guys to have fun this evening. I will see every one of us again tomorrow by the special grace of God. Go home with this topic, uncomfortable forgiveness. Even in the midst of tongues, you know somebody have turned you down, somebody have offended you, but go ahead and forgive them anyways. Just go ahead and do that. That's just the rules of life. Go ahead and forgive them. I have to go right now because I have to get back to the office and do what I love doing. And I just wanted to say hello to you guys and encourage you all today. This is your very own Jesse of Sisters True Love Group International, all the way from Houston, Texas. Shouting out to every one of you and wishing everyone wonderful, wonderful holidays. That by his grace and mercy, we will have the spirit to forgive even when it's very uncomfortable. We'll have the spirit to set aside ourselves from every negativity this Christmas time. And by his grace, you shall be well with us. I love you all so much, and Jesus cares about us. You all have a blessed evening. Thank you for joining me. Thank you all. From my heart to yours. Bye for now. <laughs>